All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at number five. So number five, we need to create a V equals IR table. So we have two resistors. So we have our column for our total, so VIR. We have our total. And we have one and two, I1 and two. So our total voltage is going to be uh, given to us here as 12 volts. Since this is a parallel circuit, the voltage is the same at all points. So we know each of these are going to have a voltage of 12. Our current is 3 amps. This is the total current. Our resistance one we know is 12 ohms. Resistance two we don't know. We don't know the current for these. So we're going to solve for the missing piece first. We could find the total resistance here or we could find the total current here. Let's find total current. That way we can find this piece as well. So we know that V1 is equal to I1 times R1. So if we rearrange this equation, if we want to get I by itself, we're going to divide both sides by R1. So it goes away. And we get I1 equals V1 over R1. We know V1 is 12 and R1 is 12. So I is going to be equal to 12 volts over 12 ohms, which is a current of 1 amp. Um, for here, we can do the math, but we know that the total amps are going to be equal to amps in 1 plus 2. So here, the missing piece, 2 plus 1 would give us 3, but let's write it out. Equals I1 plus I2. We want to find I2, so we'll subtract I1 from both sides. So I2 is going to be equal to... I total minus I1. So I2 is going to be equal to 3 minus 1. So you can look at it this way, or you can just know that these two have to add up to the third one. So 2 plus 1 would give us 3, or 3 minus 1 would give us 2. So we have 2 amps here. Okay. Um, so to find our resistance, V equals IR, we're solving for resistance, so V equals IR, total, total, total. So to solve for R, it's just going to be R total equals uh, V total over I total. I just brought this over to the other side. So our total should be 12 volts over 3 amps. So 12 divided by 3, we get 4 ohms. And then we're going to do the same thing for here. Uh, R2 is equal to V2 over I2. So we do 12 divided by 2. So we get six ohms here. Or you can just look at it this way. To figure out this missing piece, this times two would give us 12. So six times two gives us 12. 12 times one gives us 12. Four times three gives us 12. That works. Voltage is the same across. 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts. And current three is equal to one plus two. For the resistance, there's an equation that fits. You multiply these two together and divide by the sum, so um, this would end up being 4.